Welcome back everybody. Some more everybody's golf on PlayStation 4. We're going to look at Imperial Garden today, the Outward 9. We're going to play Long Tees, Mega board. Cups, because I've never set a score on this. Um, and it's part of my um, get some practice in for what I suspect is the next tournament. So, you know, the more we get familiar with the course, the better. We're going to use the big clubs today, just because I want to. Um, and what we're going to do is, we're not going to go for that shot. We're going to lay up and give ourselves a... Hopefully a reasonable position on the fairway. Excellent. Hopefully avoiding those pot bunkers. And that should be alright. And give ourselves a good second shot. So we sacrificed a little bit of distance. Oh, we're going to play over this gorse. That's a 7 iron, so it shouldn't be too awful. A little bit up, a little bit into the wind. Yeah, got it up over the gorse. Going to be much tighter to it. That could have been interesting. Up okay. on the green, get it stopped. Wow. You'll take that, won't you? For the birdie now. So nice, easy birdie putt, but again, set up from the from the second <laughs> shot, really. Easy. Much easier when you um, when you play the game properly. Tees and greens, tees and greens. Hole two. It's a par four. So, fairways, fairways, fairways. So, let's look for a good bit of fairway. So, we could play up there. Ooh, I'm moderately tempted to go for that, to be fair. Let's see how we get on. This is a little bit risky. Oh, not the ultra back. Oh, I'm top spin, sorry. Didn't get much sway on it. So, if it clears that lip, oh, it just did. That was the worry, was you drop short and just clip the lip. So, 70 to go. Bit of a sloping lie, so balls above our feet. It's going to naturally kick left. A little bit of wind, a little bit uphill. Tight green as well. Got to be super careful here. Yeah. Got the ultra backspin. That's right. Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. I think it's going to backspin a bit far, though. Yeah. We got a putt, though. Could this be a birdie? Mega cups though, which makes putting that much simpler. Just as well, because that was a bad read. So we're at two, we're at two under. Another par four. Hole three. It's a par four. Yeah, this one's got the dog leg in it. So you don't want to drive yourself out the fairway. You can't really cut anything because you just end up shy. So the play is probably here. And a little bit gentle on the um, on the beans because we don't want to run it out Excellent. no sense out driving the green our real worry is we're going to rough to the right no we've got a good bounce just holds up that's okay it's 160 left hanging lie balls below our feet which pushes it left to right wind will bring it back those three pop bunkers ready to gobble you up so we've got to be got to be absolutely spot on. Miss the backspin. I could watch this we should have enough on it though. Should end up on the green at least. Yeah. It's on. So we're on. Thirty foot putt for a birdie. Quite a straight break. Sloping up. Breaks right. I'm gonna need a little bit more power. See that? There we Good. go, it's right in the heart of the hole. Nice. So three birdies to start. That's, the way. That's a decent putt as well, which always helps. So get ourselves nearly a 30 footer in the bag. All four. It's a par three. You'll know I dislike four intensely. Hitting a long iron into this, just so much room for error. Luckily not a lot of wind today, so we've got an opportunity to not make a fool of ourselves. Got the ultra back spin. Good so if we can shot. pitch it on the green, we should be able to hold it for once. There we go. That should come back a bit as well. Looks like you made I'll take that. I'll take it. Go on, get that birdie. So 12 foot. Yeah. Bit of break, but nothing to really worry about. A little bit uphill. Mix the birdie. Easy. That helps the coffee go down when you hit four birdies in a row. 
Hole five. It's a par four. So this is one of the split fairway holes. Now, you could drive the green there. Not a lot of wind, so it's actually quite a tempting option. The risks are you run off into the sand, but I don't think I'm too worried about that. We've got a we've got a reasonable sand game on our cards. We're unlikely to plug unless we get nice directly shot. in. So provided we hit the fairway first, we're pretty safe. The real risk is ah, you see we've run off to the right. Left, sorry. We should be able to get it up and over that though. We're not close enough, it's a problem. So chip time. It's going to be a tricky one. Mega Cups, though, which means we've got a chance. Needs a bit on it to get it out of the... Um, no. Oh, we did clip it. But it gets us to the fringe and obviously gives us another chance with the chip from a slightly better position. So any chip for a birdie this time. Any chip's a good chip, especially if it oh doesn't drop. So that's a that's a drop shot, really. That's a mistake. That's just being careless, isn't it? So we break our run of birdies. Pride comes before a fall and all that. So we're halfway through. Hole six. It's a par five. Six is a longish par five. Again, the old water skip can come into play here, but again, we've got enough length. I don't think it's a problem. We can drive that. It doesn't hurt to get the super top spin. So if we do bounce in the water, we'll get a good skip. But now I think we're going to hit dry land. That's good. And we'll just end up short of that hill there. That's going to leave us 185. It's going to be 7 iron. Yeah, so it's not too bad a shot in. A little bit uphill. So we might have to get to the 6. Not a bad line in as well. There's a bit of fairway there if we need it. That pot bunker at the back is the one I'm really worried about, if I'm honest. Don't want to overhit it. Oh. And of course, as soon as you start concentrating on not nice overhitting shot. it, what do you do? Although I think, because it's uphill, we're okay. Oh my days. We ended up short and left. Bad read. Uh, chipping opportunity, though. Just gonna run. Let's have a go at this. Okay. Just gonna come round. Oh, I just died on me. Not enough legs. With a birdie now. The ones out the rough are tricky because you can really because the variability on the on the lie. Nice bird. You can overhit them and underhit them. Just makes it harder. So we're at five under, four, three, five finish. Nothing too difficult. Hole seven. It's a seven to split par four. But again, that water's skippable if you see what I mean. But again, not really too worried. This is all about getting ourselves in a reasonable position for the second shot. Excellent. Didn't get much sway on it, so that should be all right. Oh. oh, oh, oh. Up the water. I just want you to stay up. Don't roll off. Don't roll off. Don't roll off. Don't roll off. Yeah, it's okay. So it's going to be a hanging lie. A little bit of wind. Approach wedge. A little bit uphill. Let's see how we get on. Miss the, um, miss the impact. A little bit of left hand sway, but it should be okay. It should be on. Okay. Yeah, it's reasonably close. The green. So, with a birdie now. Seven foot pop. Right edge firm should be pretty good. There you go. Bag your birdie. It's a six under. Great birdie. Par three next. Hole eight. It's a par three. Again, this is one of your long iron drives. It's a three iron in this case. Bit of wind. Stopping it's your challenge, really. I'm going to get it up there, but stop it. Plenty of fairway at the front, though, so you can do something at a landing at least. So we're on. It's like you made it. 20 foot putt. Go on, get that birdie. Oh, look at that break. So the yeah. break kind of dies away, but of course, right. we've got to under hit it, so it's going to die like a dead squirrel. 
Oh, this will just die or what? Roll, basically just fade. Yes. Okay. Nice. Just about. Nice and easy. That gets us to seven with a hold left. Last one. Four nine. It's around the Four corner. Nine. I kind of like this. Again, hitting the fairway is the challenge here. You've got to find a spot. Miss the ultra spin. Great shot. We've got a bit of bend on it. It's all going to be where it lands. Oh, hit that ridge, didn't it? It's pretty unpredictable. I think we lucked out, though. Are we on the semi? We're on the semi rough, aren't we? Oh, that's the fairway still. Okay. So we a little bit of luck there. So this is quite a long iron shot. Seven iron. Pick a bit. We're a fair bit to aim at, so we should be all right. Good shot. Not much room for error, but that should be on. Yeah, it's on. Okay. Just stop. There you go. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Is that an eagle putt? This is for eagle. Wow, so we got a 10 foot eagle putt. It's not breaking terribly much. Providing I've got enough on it, that's in. What a great finish. So we get nine under. I mean, we got lucky a little bit on that tee shot. That, that bounce was very kind to us and left us in the right spot. So we finished with an eagle. Nine under. I'm pretty pleased with that. Pretty pleased with that. Fairways and greens is always the, the mantra. I think we missed one of each. But um, that's not bad at all. So nine under. That's a reasonable round. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, share and subscribe. Uh, please leave me a comment, particularly if you're got some thoughts on the tournament. I'm going to have to play this with shorter clubs as well at some point just to get some practice in. But I'll see you next time for a bit more of everybody's golf. Ah! Good job I've got 10 gems left to fix my clubs up, isn't it? See ya.